Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Final Trade. I wanted to talk a little bit about the Amazon dumps. Yes, our beloved Watsi Amazon dumps where Watsi goes straight to Amazon, delivers the product, and sells it directly, undercutting and stabbing in the back the entire distribution and retail network. And of course, we've been told many, many, many times over the last 18 months that the dumps are over. The dumps are over. No more. The distributors had a stern talking to Watsi, and the dumps are over. We've been told so 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 many times and even today the dumps still continue we've been told that whales stepped in and bought the product so watsy wouldn't have to dump it on amazon and yet if you just follow on amazon you just go and you set a search for magic the gathering booster box that's that's what i search for i just have a tab open with that search i refresh it a couple times a day and something i've started doing over about the last two weeks is a little more religiously refreshing it looking at what's up there, what's for sale, what the prices are, and most importantly, does it show shipped and sold by Amazon, which is the sign that it's Watsy. Now, you'll have other things where card stores come onto there through their Amazon accounts, and you may have shipped and sold by Joe Blow TCG Games, or you may have uh, sold by Joe Blow and fulfilled by Amazon, and all of those mean different things in terms of usage of Amazon's fulfillment centers and everything else. But when it's shipped and sold by Amazon, that is Watsy coming on Amazon, sending them the product and dumping it straight to the end user, bypassing the entire distribution and retail network. And so uh, I can't really show you proof of this, right? You need to go look yourself because the methods that, well, one, I'm not allowed to show Amazon on my channel because I'm an Amazon affiliate partner. And if I put if I put the Amazon web page in my videos, there's an Amazon bot that crawls them and says I'm misusing their uh, logos and it suspends my account. So I can't like actually show you. But what I can tell you is the method by which the dumps happen has changed. And so I could understand some confusion where people think they have stopped because, hey, I went up on Amazon just now and I didn't see anything being dumped. You know, in the past, what would happen is you might see uh, a ton of product. And we saw this way back in uh, Black Friday of 2022. We saw an ungodly amount of product getting dumped all day long on Black Friday and leaving into Black Friday and around Black Friday. Huge amounts of product getting dumped on Amazon. It doesn't so much look the same as that anymore. Um, what, what it looks like now is there will be one or maybe two products. It'll get deeply discounted for a few hours. That's it. And then the price might pop back up or it might slowly march back up. And what you'll see is during that time, again, it's being sold and shipped by Amazon, which means it's a Watsy dump on Amazon. So what kind of products am I seeing just in the last like two weeks since I've gotten back in the habit of refreshing the page several times a day? I've seen uh, DMR collector boxes dumped down at all the way down to 135. I've seen DMR draft boxes getting dumped in the 80s. I've seen uh, Baldur's Gate draft getting dumped. I actually bought some Jumpstart 22 at $78.00. You know, the original wholesale price for that, I believe, was 82 And uh, Commander Masters continues to get dumped on there very regularly. The collector boxes, the draft boxes, and the set boxes. And so, you know, something if you really follow my data and sales videos, one of the things that I had shown is even out to, what, 150 days on the set boxes for Commander Masters, the sales rate was half of what it was for Double Masters 2022. And so I suspected there was a huge amount of Commander Masters still sitting in the retail part of the system, the distributor part of the system, and at Watsi. And the fact that they're dumping all three on Amazon regularly still, uh, it lends a little more credence to that. It doesn't prove it, but it, um, it explicitly does not disprove it. And so I would show you this. I bought this yesterday. Oh, yeah. Well, well, I'm backwards watching on this. Okay. Commander Master Set Booster. Beautiful thing. Uh, you guys remember what these originally distributed for? The original price, summer of 2023, when stores had to sign up to sell this, to get it from distribution. Do you remember the price? $335. 330s is the price that card stores were expected to originally pay for a set booster box of... Commander Masters. 
What did I buy this for yesterday before Prime delivered it to my house this morning? $235. $235. $100 off of the original wholesale price. Now, I, you know, I would, I would ask anyone who says, oh, that's not a dump. That's not a dump. Define a dump if that is not a dump. A premium product sold $100 off the original wholesale price. And one of the interesting things about this one in specific is you, you may not see this deal up on Amazon for two reasons. One is uh, you got to catch it at the right time, right? Uh, if you go up there right now, I want to say this box is $2.95 is the headline price on Amazon of Watsy. And I mean, even that's technically a dump because, right, it's below original wholesale, right? If you owned a card store and you saw the manufacturer selling directly to end customers at a price lower than you could buy from your distributor at, yeah, that's a dump. Um, so you may not see it because it just may not be up there this moment at the $2.35 price that I paid. But also, something else they've started doing is instead of flashing this big price up there that says, hey, everybody, we're still dumping, and we're dumping, we're dumping these products 100 bucks a box below original wholesale. Instead of that, what they do is they have little tiny, it's a coupon. And this one was a 20% off coupon, which took that 295 down to what, 235. So, you won't see that 235, which might catch your eye. Instead, what you'll see is even smaller down in the list. You'll see, oh, click for the 20% off coupon. And those coupons, they don't show to everyone and they don't show all the time. And so I've been trying to share this deal with my patrons because I've seen it a couple times in the last week. And, you know, I get feedback from my patrons and the feedback is, hey, I don't, I don't get the coupon. And some of them do and some of them don't. And so the cool thing is, so if you get offered the coupon by the algorithm, all hail the algorithm, if they offer you, offer you the coupon for 20% off, they say you can only buy one. You can only buy one. And so you complete your check transaction and you check out and you get it into Amazon's fulfillment system and it's got a box somewhere out there in the ether coming towards you. And then you just go back through and you put one more box in your cart and you check out and you go through the system and you buy it with the coupon and then you put another box in your cart and you click the coupon, you buy it again and again. So you can just do one box at a time per transaction, use the coupon as many times as you want if the algorithm offers it to you. So, you know, the dumps still haven't stopped. I remember making a video back in January of 23 about the dumps because we were getting dumps and we were being assured, oh, the dumps, oh yes. Don't worry, distributors, distributors told Watsy no more dumps. And the dumps are done. Watsy said they'd stop the dumps. Guys, it's it's another year later and they're still dumping regularly. So, you know, if you want to get in on some of these deals, of course, join the Patreon. Yeah, of course. Um, the other thing is just go, go open a tab in Amazon. Type in to the search bar, Magic the Gathering Booster Box. Hit search and just refresh it whenever you think about it. Every two or three hours, you know, set a non-obtrusive alarm that will just remind you every couple hours to go click that and scroll down the list and look for some stuff. Uh, camel, camel, camel is not good for this because Amazon sells literally billions of products and camel, camel, camel cannot crawl the entirety of Amazon's inventory often enough to give you the kind of fast, high frequency data that you need to catch when all of a sudden they're dumping jumpstart 22 boxes at $78 each. So uh, sorry, it doesn't really work out with that. You're gonna have to monitor it manually. But the dumps are still ongoing. They've never stopped. They're gonna keep going. Uh, it'll be a while. I mean, I, I, I do absolutely believe Watsy's cutting print runs. I think we have seen uh, quantitative evidence that print runs have started to be cut. And eventually that means, well, does it have to mean dump stop? It doesn't. Watsy can just hold the product back, starve the distribution system, and then dump. So I don't know. I guess I still don't have any faith that the dumps will ever stop. So take advantage of it. Uh, you know, clean up what you can. $235. I feel bad for all the card stores. 
who in good faith thought, you know, maybe Watsy can deliver with a box that's going to cost the card store 330 bucks. That sucks. It sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Thanks to everyone who makes this content possible, especially my generous, generous supporters on Patreon who I always share my purchases with. All of my long-term TCG investment purchases, I share there as I make them. Sometimes before I make them, they know what I'm buying so they can get in on the deals too. They don't have to wait till later. Like, comment, share, and subscribe and join me on Final Trade.